Hey guys, Craig here. Um, I got a tackle warehouse order in this morning, and I figured I'd burn through it really quick with you. Um, not going into too much detail, just kind of show you what I got. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long, it's like 40, 40 items or so. Um, but first, you obviously you get your your invoice uh, and your sticker, and if you spend over 150 bucks, you get uh, you get a free t-shirt. Uh, they're gray, they actually look pretty sweet in that gray color. Um, and then obviously you're nuts not to get the uh, the long sleeve shirt for an extra five bucks. Um, but right off the bat, we'll get the uh, the boring stuff out of the way. Um, VMC Y gap hooks, huge fan of these hooks, and a two out and a three out. I actually use those to tech surf rig my um, my tubes and stuff. Um, and obviously you can use them for other things, um, but that's what I usually use them for. Um, and leading right into the tubes. Um, these are dry creek tubes. I've never tried these. I'm pretty excited about them. Um, but these are the three and a half inch tubes. I have some four inch tubes. I wanted something a little bit smaller. Um, that's in a green pumpkin color. It's probably not going to focus and I apologize about that, but that's a green pumpkin blue flake actually. Can't really see the blue flake, but it's in there. It's really fine. Um, then he has a watermelon candy color. I love that watermelon candy. There's a lot of candy flake in that. Um, Next we have some more soft plastics. These are Rage Tails, um, the Rage Cross, baby Rage Cross. Uh, everybody's seen those. Um, typical, that's your green pumpkin. Um, this is Plum Crazy, which I actually love that color. You're not going to be able to see it because of the glare, and I apologize for that. But if you get a chance to look at those, Plum Crazy is a really nice color in those. Um, and the last color, I believe, is Watermelon Meat. Yeah. And it's a, it's a lighter watermelon, but it's got uh, some like bright red flake in it. It looks actually pretty good. Um, use those for trailers on jigs, and uh, every once in a while, if the bite gets tough, I'll just Texas rig them, flip them with like a 3 8 ounce weight. Uh, next, I'm actually really excited about these. I'm probably going to pull one of these out and show you. Um, these are uh, they're called Little Spankies by Netbaits. They're actually a small swim bait. It's like 3 and a quarter inch swim bait. That color is like uh, blue, or Bluegill Magic. Um, that is kicking perch. It's like an orange flake, black flake. Uh, kind of, it's it's that's a really good color. It looks like it's going to be a really good perch imitator. And this is called watermelon rind. Um, I'm going to take one out just so you can see it because this is kind of a new bait. Um, I mean, it's a really soft bait. It, it reminds me so much of the the skinny dippers and the little dippers. These are three and a quarter inches long. Um, that color right there looks just nasty sick. It's got a little, like pumpkin flake or pumpkin or candy flake in it. It looks so good. Um, I'm gonna use those as trailers on swim jigs and chatter baits and stuff. Um, even maybe some spitter baits and stuff like that. Um, I use the little dippers primarily as uh, as trailers, and I think they work awesome. Um, I even Texas rig them. I have Texas rig them as well, uh, like a small two out um, or three out swim bait hook, belly weighted. Um, with a screw lock on it, and I think they, they work awesome. I'm excited to try those. Like I said, this, the skinny dippers do, and the little dippers. They look almost identical. Um, and then obviously everybody's seen these. Um, your pack of chunks. These are the tiny ones. I use these for finesse. My like ultra finesse jigs that have really small hooks on them. Um, that's a green pumpkin blue flake. Crawfish color. Watermelon candy. And this color I kind of want to show you too. It's uh, called Blueberry Candy. And I think this is going to be dynamite on a, the back of a black and blue jig. Um, on one side of it is your typical blue flake. That doesn't look anything special. But if you flip it on the other side, I mean, there's a lot of flashy, flashy candy in that. I mean, that just I think that's going to be killer on a black and blue jig, personally. Um, and I got a few black and blue finesse jigs. So they come like seven to a pack tiny pack of tiny pack of chunks they're like two inches long they're perfect for that ultra finesse jig that I have um, oh I do have one more I'm sorry it's a Bama bug um, I mentioned the Bama bug color um, next uh, we'll get these little jigs out of the way um, I got five or four excuse me for the bitsy flips um, they're just kind of toy around jigs they're just they work really well as finesse jigs too um, these are all 3 8 ounce. That's a green pumpkin, like brown. It's your typical watermelon color. It's your black and blue color. 
And this is a new color called Camouflage. It's actually, uh, it's got, looks like it's got some orange and green flake. And it's like a brown, black, and white or translucent skirt. Looks pretty good. Um, next, uh, I'm a big KVD guy, Squareville. Um, big, big fan of them. I got a bunch of the 2.5s, um, so we'll burn through the colors of these really quick. That's uh, Tennessee Shad. These are all the 2.5s that I got. Um, Citrus Shad. Chartreuse Perch. Uh, sexy Sunfish. And this is just your typical Sexy Shad color. Um, next, uh, I got a couple of 1.5s. I don't know how I missed these colors when I uh, when I picked them up beforehand, but I did. Um, how I missed a, a typical sexy shad color is crazy. Like I said, these are the 1.5s, and that's uh, chartreuse uh, chartreuse perch. Um, those are my KVD square bills. Everybody's seen those. You've heard of them. They work amazing, in my opinion. I love them. One thing you probably have not seen. Um, to me, it's a new bait. If you have, then I apologize. I'm reiterating this, but these are bandit square bills. Um, no idea. Bandit made a square bill. Um, I've thrown bandits before. I'm not a huge, huge fan of them, but, uh, I needed some bigger, like 2.5 size crankbaits or bigger. These are two and three quarters inches. These are a big, big, big crankbait, um, for a, for a square bill. Uh, I got five of them, and I actually took one out of the package, and I'll show you that. This is a chartreuse sparkle ghost. It's like a chartreuse shad color. Uh, this is a river brim. So if you know anything about bandit, you know that's there. River brim. This is a sparkle ghost. Uh, just uh, you know, like a chartreuse stripe on it. And this is your you know your crawdad brown craw orange belly. You know, strike came the same color. Um, and I took one out of the package. This is like a gizzard shad. I think it's just called Sparkle Ghost, um, something like that. Uh, but if you see that bill, you can see that it's angled. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but that bill right there is, is angled, and that's supposed to make it deflect off things a lot better. Um, I'm really, really, really excited to try this crankbait. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it just, it, it looks, I don't know, it's a big, big bulky profile, and I think, uh, I think when the fish really start eating this spring, that's going to be a killer, killer color. All right, and a killer crankbait for that matter. It's supposed to have a big wide wobble, a big thump, move a lot of water. Um, we're going to try it out though anyway. Um, <coughs> but we went too far into depth on that. One spinnerbait, I don't know if any, a lot of people I'm sure have heard of them. Uh, this is called the Baby Burner um, by Strike King. These are uh, just shy of a half ounce, 7 sixteenths of an ounce. You can see right there. Hopefully it lets you see it. Um, uh, but I got three different colors on these. Um, huge, huge fan of these spinner baits. You can really burn these through the water. Um, but they're heavy enough so that you can let them sink and then burn it through the water still. And it doesn't rise in the column too well or too far uh, because they have those razor blades, which are actually a smaller profile uh, double willow leaf blade. That you can see they're pretty, pretty skinny willow blades. Um, but I'm a huge fan of these um, when the time calls for it. Um, that's a, your sexy shad pattern. Uh, this is uh, it's like blue shiner or blue, uh, blue something, blue sparkle, blue glimmer, blue shiner, something like that. Um, it's just a blue and white. And this is a uh, sexy, uh, sexy blueback herring. It's a lighter chartreuse white, more or less, um, and it's got a little bit of blue glimmer in it. Um, so I got those. Um, next up, uh, something I was also really, really excited to try. This is actually the last thing in the box. Um, River to Sea Bling Spinnerbaits. Um, I'm a big spinnerbait guy. Uh, I've always kind of uh, said uh, Pepper Custom Baits had the best spinnerbaits. I still do. Uh, huge, huge fan of their spinnerbaits. But when I saw these, I saw a video on these, and these, these look pretty impressive as well. They're a bigger blade, um, so I think it gives off a lot more flash, a lot more thump. Um, when the water's a little bit more, you know, stained or, you know, muddy, I think these are going to come through big. Um, but yeah, I got three of them. Uh, this is called uh, I Know It. It's kind of like his sexy shad, but it's like a brighter chartreuse color in it. Looks pretty good. These are all three-eighths of an ounce, by the way. Uh, this is a lemonade twist is the name of the color. It's just your chartreuse white. And this is called Abalone Shad. It's got a blue head on it. 
and uh, it's just your shad pattern skirt, that gray and white. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try those as well. Uh, but that's the Tackle Warehouse order. I apologize, it took 10 minutes to get through. Uh, there was a couple of things I definitely wanted to show you because they were new to me. Maybe they're new to you, go into a little bit more depth on them. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I do have one more uh, unbagging. I went to Gander Mountain this morning, and that'll come up in the next video. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, definitely comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, more videos to come. Appreciate you guys watching.